Yeah, I just want to be the greatest. It's your boy Hi Fi Vega back again, and this time we're going to review the Cadence Ultra Drive 12 inch subwoofers. So, Olivia from Cadence Sound was kind enough to reach out to me and ask if I was wanting to do some kind of collaboration. I said, Sure, I'm always looking to uh, try new products out. I ended up with the Ultra Drive 12s, so we're gonna unbox these, get them inside the Suburban see what they sound like. I know you guys are always on the lookout for a budget style subwoofer, and this is right up your alley. It is 105 retail, I believe. But if you like this video, you like the subs, after I review them, you can use coupon code HIFI at cadencesound.com. So uh, if you like them, use that code, get a little bit of money off. So let's get them unboxed check them out and see what they're all about. Unfortunately, I lost all of my unboxing footage, but we'll just kind of go through some of the features. It does have a two inch copper coil with an aluminum former. It's 450 watts RMS rated, 900 watts max, you know, but we're trying to look at the RMS rating here. I do dig the, the machined motor. I think that's very cool. Although the style of, you know, the plastic ring, the, the orange, that might be a lot of people's style. It's not particularly my style. I wouldn't have chose that myself, but I will say once you get them in there and you got the rings on, they actually look pretty good. And you know, the machine motor to me, it's just cool. It, it looks cool. And uh, I really dig that. I mean, you, you got to take time to do something like that. So it's a nice little touch. Another thing that sticks out to me is the 93 dB sensitivity rating. These ought to do pretty well on relatively low amount of power. The enclosure is four and a half cubic foot. It's two to 35 Hertz. So um, let's see how they do in this enclosure. Let's see what they sound like in the listening demos. Okay, now we're gonna do a few uh, sound demos. I'll cut the mids off so I can play some tracks that I know kind of sound good on these subs. So let's play those tracks. Let's see what they sound like. See what you guys think. y'all got to hear them what did you think i think they're a pretty decent sounding subwoofer in my opinion and they've got a lot of pros the price to performance ratio is good the high sensitivity definitely helps they have some nice cosmetic touches the natural smooth sound of these is pretty good and they are true to the 450 watt rms rating in my testing now i do have a few cons the trim ring it's plastic and painted it can get easily scratched and it doesn't like the low lows in this enclosure it is 235 hertz but i've had plenty of speakers in here that play a little bit better at the low the extreme low frequencies like 30 hertz and below that's it that is my review of the cadence ultra drive 12 inch subwoofers i love testing these budget line drivers because this is what people are looking at there want you know a lot of people don't want to spend 300 400 500 dollars on one or two drivers so if you're looking for something in the budget range i think that these got you and i think that um they're a good value at 105 and if you want to pick them up a little cheaper use the code hi-fi at cadencesound.com so that's it that's my review i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you on the next one Quick shout out to all my Patreon supporters, but I want to give a special shout out to the $6 or more members. 2001 Monolithic, The Third Era, Gene Nava, Joaquin Juarez, Paul Smith, Byron Shambliss, The Karate Guy, Jason Zemer, Travis McClendon, Brandon Hanna, William Berg, William Inabit, and Boxboy Audio Solutions. For as little as $2 a month, you can join the team and get exclusive Patreon-only content not available on YouTube.
So if you want to help me out and join these fine folks, check me out at patreon.com slash high five Vega.